Good evening. Blizzards and heavy snow are causing chaos in the southwest of England tonight as the big freeze tightens its grip on Britain. Some major roads in Cornwall have been blocked with motorists stranded in their vehicles in really treacherous conditions. The authorities are warning people not to travel as the band of snow is forecast to move slowly across England and Wales into the early hours. Temperatures dropped to minus 14 Celsius in Scotland last night, the coldest of the winter so far. Our correspondent Rupert Evelyn begins his roundup from the snowy southwest. It had been threatened all day, and when finally the snow hit, it delivered, causing chaos across Cornwall. The county bore the brunt of it, with hundreds of cars stuck in places. Oh, we're stuck! <laughs> grip hard to come by, the gridlock followed as the snow continued to fall. Those who had tried to get home before the storm in Newquay quickly found themselves at a standstill. What had started the day as a weather event with a yellow warning had been upgraded to amber, reflecting the severity of the situation and the potential risk to life. I've only got 25 miles left of petrol as well, so there's a bit, my car's slowly going down and down and down. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully the gritters will come and the, you know, something's going to happen, but it's getting dark. Well, it's dark now, isn't it? And we've been in the same place probably for about an hour or two hours. So this might be our, our future for the rest of the weekend, but uh, doing it on foot with all the right gear will be different from sitting in the car getting cold. So Well, we're supposed to go to St Ives for our friend's birthday. But of course, we haven't made it. <laughs> but we've got games in the back, so we can play them. Of course, there are always those who refuse to let the weather get in the way of their plans. Surf's up, it seems. It is relatively rare for these beaches to be blanketed with a wintry covering, and few people ventured down to the shoreline to see it. For many tonight, the high ground in this part of the country has provided the low point of their day. Caught out by a few inches of snow, now stuck in freezing temperatures, waiting to be recovered. Rupert Evelyn, ITV News.